In this video, I'm going to take you down to the river here in my backyard. I'm going to show you how I took this bowfishing arrow that I found at the bottom of the river and how I turned it into this deadly spear gun. Now, there's one question. Will it work? In the middle of this great continent lay the hidden gem somewhere deep in the Midwest. It is here where the local rednecks and fishermen spend their warm springs and hot summer days living in a fishing wonderland. Fish of all species pile up under these falls during the spawn, and they don't go back to the deep lakes until late fall. Right here and right there are the two main holes. No more than four feet deep, they are saturated in fish. This is why I love to spend so much time here. Not only do I get to interact with all kinds of new creatures, but I also find hundreds and thousands of lures, along with machetes, knives, and arrows. So I just pulled this beauty out of the river. But as you can see, there's another one down there. Yes, lots of arrows. Here's a big stack of arrows I found this year alone. Bow fishing here is absolutely phenomenal, but that's for another video. Looking at my stack gave me a pretty sweet idea. I wanted to see if I could take the basic bow fishing arrow and turn it into a state-of-the-art redneck Hawaiian sling. Perfect here. Here at the local hardware store, I got a couple feet of this latex tubing. Five dollars later, and all I gotta do now is go home and put it together. This is all it is. You tie a knot at the end of the string and you force it in there. I can take a string and tie it on this side of the knot and it holds very, very, very tight. All right, right here it is. My new scientific invention. You know what I did here? And I made these bars squeeze in so the narrower twist. Right off the back, I started seeing fish everywhere, but I am looking for non-game fish. The first one I came across was this freshwater drum. I took my shot and I missed. I take a deep breath and go back down. Next thing I know, I'm swimming with a 27 inch walleye and big largemouth bass everywhere. These type fish are reserved for rod and reel catching only but I really enjoy swimming with them five inches in front of my mask. This little guy is a crappie. He's a super good eating fish, but the same story with him. Then I bump into this common painted turtle. He scurries away with all his might. You always gotta keep your spear tip nice and tight. Otherwise, the bars won't hold when you shoot your fish. I lost a few fish while bow fishing before. I learned the hard way. I see more bass. Then my first customer comes around the corner, a red horse sucker. Woo! I got it! Look! Well, it looks like the little spear gun works after all. But this one is kind of little. What happens when I shoot something bigger and thicker? Will it penetrate? Right here, we're about to find out as I approach this freshwater drum. Bam, full penetration. This was a pretty exciting moment for me. This is the moment I realized I had next level simplicity and conveniency on my hand. You want it? Big old drum. This thing works amazing! <laughs> Alright, I think I perfected it. At first, I kept shooting massive fish, but it wasn't penetrating. But what I did differently 
But these bars right here were more spread out. So I pinched them together and they just fly right through anything and it actually gets full penetration and then it locks in like that. Pretty sweet. Well, there you have it, your new invention, try it out. My go-to spear gun has always been my Marez mini stent. It is an incredible spear gun and it's an absolute beast. But sometimes we crave to use something more simple and quickly reloadable. This is just awesome. This drum took off on me, so I had to swim fast to keep up with him. Otherwise, he might have gotten off. In this situation, you want to pin him to the ground. But he just wasn't having it. So I just keep chasing. But once he got tired, he wasn't going anywhere. And he is definitely the biggest one for sure. <laughs> we always throw the fish back in the river. That way it can be found by the many species of catfish that spawn here. Well, it works phenomenally. <laughs> I love it. Let's do it again. Listen to this. This clicking noise is the sound of a drum grunting. It makes this noise as a mating call during the spawn. This is how the fish got its original name because it sounds like a drum beating under the water and it's very loud. If you ever hear it, follow the sound. It'll lead you straight to the fish. And for the rest of the summer, I hunted with this spear. It is awesome. Try it out. Oh.